I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. Thursday, the 17th day of June. Alabama's weather settling into a summertime pattern. And uh, by golly, you know what we're going to say. Hot, humid. It's going to rain somewhere in the afternoon. Uh, we'll do that through August. But uh, matter of how much rain, how hot, where will the rain fall? Let's see what we got this afternoon. First off, these Skycam images. First off, coming from Coleman. That's looking east from the water treatment plant just east of downtown Coleman, down below that U.S. Highway 278. Pretty decent cumulus feel there. From Cheehaw State Park, always a lovely place to be in a hot summer day because it's cooler up there. They're at 2,400 feet, and oftentimes they'll be in the mid-80s when everybody else is baking in the 90s. And the uh, view from Jasper, I'm sorry, from uh, Fayette, that's the uh, sky cam in uh, downtown Fayette up in northwest Alabama, the sky partially sunny. Big trough uh, coming through the Upper Plains, producing the potential for a major severe weather outbreak this evening over parts of Minnesota and the Upper Midwest. And down here, some uh, convection firing over Tennessee, Kentucky, and uh, around the Ohio River. A little hotter out there today. Tuscaloosa, 94 at 2 o'clock. Birmingham at 91, Anniston, 92. And we are looking at mid-90s, more than likely for the next few days. Factor in those high dew points. Yeah, the heat index will be near 100. It is summer after all. Check the uh, radar. First off, coming from High Top up in northeast Alabama, you can see some uh, active storms up in Jackson County. In fact, uh, they are under a severe thunderstorm warning. As I do this update up in northeast Alabama, other showers are forming in an axis from near Roanoke to Lincoln to Oneonta. And again, uh, we'll see a few more of those developing during the heat of the day. And some could pack a punch. We'll check the big uh, watch warning map. Uh, uh, we've got tornado watches up north and closer to home, this severe thunderstorm watch. that includes much of uh, western and middle Tennessee, parts of western Kentucky. And you can see two bands of storms, really one at the southern end of the box, one up at the northern end. And uh, again, uh, some school of thought there could be some damaging wind potential with those areas of storms moving to the southeast in a weak flow. And up north, uh, that's a tornado box for parts of Minnesota, including Duluth and Hibbing and International Falls. And uh, those storms could go tornadic up there. Our uh, friends to the north will have to watch those very carefully. There's the convective outlook. There's a moderate risk up there uh, that includes Des Moines and Minneapolis-St. Paul. Uh, down this way, there's a slight risk for about the northern third of Alabama. And again, you know, th this is not like the risk you see in the spring or the fall. It's uh, mainly for the potential for some uh, local microburst in through there. Uh, tomorrow, got a slight risk, the standard risk almost from Memphis up to uh, Marquette, Michigan. That includes St. Louis, Des Moines, Chicago, Indianapolis, Milwaukee, and Detroit. And on day three, again, a slight risk up north. QPF chart, my least favorite map, as we always say this time of the year because of the uneven distribution of rain. But this is valid through Tuesday uh, morning of next week at 7 o'clock. About a half inch for the north, one inch to the south. Pretty good bit of rain over the Florida Peninsula there. In the tropics, uh, tropical disturbance we've been watching for days, are getting close to the Leeward Islands. Now, how do you like that for a chance of developing? Zero percent. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say zero, but it's fighting some very strong winds aloft right now, and the rest of the Atlantic Basin is quiet. We'll check the uh, 12Z GFS. This is valid at uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and um, you're going to see that a lot, ridging all across the deep south. Winds aloft, light and variable. Strong shortwave way up north and down below that. Hot, humid, a few air mass storms here and there. And uh, mid-90s, and that's pretty much going to be the story for Saturday and Sunday. So uh, hot and muggy conditions, and uh, every once in a while you'll see a storm pop up on radar, but probably not very many. Uh, Monday of next week, yeah, you've seen that look before. You'll see it throughout the summer, ridging down here. The westerlies up on the Canadian border, no real change. There's Tuesday of next week. Wednesday looks a little drier, but again, these maps don't really help us that much dealing with summer convection and uh, Thursday a week from today we'll just kind of broad brush everything with the uh, partly sunny chance of an afternoon storm forecast note the lower pressure down there in the eastern gulf 
That water is uh, on the coast up there running in the upper 80s. We'll have to watch that. We'll see what happens down there, if anything. Uh, we'll check the end of the forecast on the 3rd of July, right before Independence Day, midsummer. Really a high-amplitude flow over the northern part of the continent, trough, ridge, trough, but uh, down here it's still the same old deal, ridging and some evidence of a convective mass into Mexico from the Bay of Campeche. At some point, we do think the tropics are going to get pretty active, so we'll have to keep an eye on things down there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.